any possible outcomes or combination of outcomes of a random experiment is called as an event let me state some types of events elementary events compound events favorable elementary event certain events or sure events impossible event complementary events and then last one is mutually exclusive event i will explain each type of these events using an example of throwing a die die has a number 1 to 6 on its sides the sample space s is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 consider some outcomes or events from this trial getting 1 can be an event similarly getting 2 or getting 3 getting 4 or getting 5 or getting 6 can also be an event getting less than 3 or getting more than 3 similarly getting even number or getting odd number getting number less than 7 or getting natural numbers or getting a zero all these are events we can define many events out of one random experiment like this let's categorize these events getting 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 these are all elementary events each individual outcome of random experiment is an elementary event getting less than 3 when die is thrown is a compound event compound event is combination of two or more elementary events similarly getting even numbers which includes getting 2 4 and 6 is also a compound event these elementary events 2 4 and 6 are said to be favorable to the compound event because all these are even numbers consider another event getting natural numbers getting natural numbers can be an event this event is called as sure event or certain event because event always occurs because all the outcome of throwing a die satisfy the condition of being natural number getting a zero is also an event this event is impossible event that is no matter how many times you throw the die you will always get number from 1 to 6 you will never get zero hence this event is called as impossible event now let's define the probability of events in mathematical terms the probability of event is equal to number of elementary events favorable to the event by total number of elementary events in the sample space hence the probability of an event is a ratio of number of favorable events to the total number of elements in the sample space let's apply this formula for one sure event and impossible event getting natural number is a sure event because all the numbers all the elementary events in the sample space satisfy the condition of being natural number let me calculate the probability of this sure event the number of events which favors the condition is 6 and the total number of elementary events in the sample space is also 6 hence the probability is 6 by 6 which is 1 note probability of sure event is always 1 let me calculate the probability of impossible event consider an example of getting a zero getting a zero is impossible event as i told you before here the probability of null event is 0 by 6 which is 0 note probability of impossible event is always 0 now we are left with two more types of events and those are complementary events and mutually exclusive events let me consider two set of events getting even numbers and getting odd numbers i call these events as complementary events getting less than 3 and getting more than 3 these are mutually exclusive event let's see why getting even and odd events are complementary events getting even and getting odd can also be defined as getting even event and getting not even event that is stating getting even and getting odd is same as stating getting even and getting not even if the number is not even then it has to be odd similarly if the number is not odd then it has to be even there is no middle event hence these are complementary events the probability of getting even is 3 by 6 because there are three even numbers in the sample space 
Similarly, 3 by 6 is the probability of odd because again there are 3 odd numbers in the sample space. If you add the probability of getting even and getting odd, you will get 1. Note, the sum of complementary events is always 1. Let's consider why second set of events are mutually exclusive. Getting less than 3 has 1 and 2 as the elementary events. Getting more than 3 has 4, 5 and 6 because all these 3 satisfy the condition. Here the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Let's call getting less than 3 as even and getting more than 3 is E2. Note union of E1 and E2 is not sample space because 3 is not there in the first event also and not there in second event also. And also note there is no common elementary event between both of these events. That is E1 can occur when E2 cannot occur and vice versa. When union of two events are not sample space and there is no common elementary events between them, then these kind of events are called as mutually exclusive events. Let me state it again. Two or more events are said to be mutually exclusive if the occurrence of one event prevents or excludes the occurrence of other event. Since mutually exclusive events do not have any common outcomes, we can say the total number of mutually exclusive events can be obtained by adding the number of individual events. Dividing both the sides by the number of sample space, we get the probability of getting both mutually exclusive event can be obtained by adding the probability of first event and the probability of second event. This result is known as addition rule of probability. This rule can be applied when there are more than two mutually exclusive events.